Hello, my name is Geraldine Clark. Thanks for being with me today. I work at Framlingham College. I'm Head of Staff Development and I teach History, English and Psychology. I've been a teacher for far too many years to mention at all sorts of levels. Today we're going to be looking at those top tips to help you with revision over the next few weeks. Hopefully you'll find it helpful. Anyway, here we go. Okay, my first tip, and this is something I definitely do in my working life, is to put away those distractions. I know you don't want to, I know that you want to keep looking at your phone and listening to that lovely music, but you need to make the space that you're in one that will work for you. So clear it, make it attractive, and don't have anything there that's going to take you away from your focus. So put those distractions away. That's the first one. Okay, my second one, and again, I do this as well, is reward yourself. So having put away your phone or turned off your music or stopped looking at Facebook, you can now use that to reward yourself. So when you've done a really good session, you've done 30 minutes or 45 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever it is of your focused revision, you can then get the phone out, go for a run, watch a little bit of a TV show that you like, save those rewards and then use them to reward yourself and say, well done. So that's my second tip. Okay, my third tip is to use your time really wisely and short, sharp sessions for revision are often much better than those long uh, pieces of time that you think that you've got available. So if you've got two hours, okay, that's great, but chunk that up into perhaps 20 minutes or 25 minutes with your short break, with your reward, come back to it. Don't sort of think, oh gosh, I've got two hours, I've got to fill it break it down. Those minutes used well are much more effective than a long piece of time where you're just not using that time as well as you could be. So that's the third one. Okay, number four is about really knowing yourself a little bit, I suppose, and how you like to work. And we all work in different ways. I really like writing things down. I find it very difficult to do anything without a pen in my hand. Other people like to draw, other people like to sing, other people like to act it out. Use whatever works for you and make it work, but I would also suggest a variety. Mix things up a little bit. Essentially, revision can be really dull, so you need to make it creative and fun for you. One of the best methods is also teaching somebody else. So talk it through with someone else that doesn't know what they're doing about the topic and teach them. And if they know about it by the end of it, then I'm pretty sure that you'll know it as well. Okay, that's number four. Okay, number five is very much about looking after yourself and I'm really into this. So this is eating, drinking, sleeping and exercising or if you really like music, whatever that is that helps you to relax but you really must look after your body and please do not revise late the night before an exam. You need to go to sleep. So again, create the right environment for you so that you're sleeping really well before that exam. Okay, that's number five. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you found this useful and all the very best in your exams. Do use this to help support you. If you've enjoyed this, please would you like it and share it. And if you'd like to hear more from us because there will be more to come, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much and all the very best.